Are you frustrated by the need to wear bifocals or reading glasses? Are you above age 60 and experiencing changes in your vision or been told you have cataracts? If so, call the office of Dr. Stuart R. Winthrop at 805-730-9111. You'll learn about exciting new breakthroughs in lens implant technology that can help restore the vision of your youth. Protect and preserve your precious gift of sight. Call 805-730-9111 now for your appointment with Dr. Winthrop. Welcome back. You're watching Taking Human Sight to the Next Level, featuring local Santa Barbara eye surgeon, Dr. Stuart R. Winthrop. Cataract development can cause cloudy or blurry vision and difficulty driving at night. Well, the first thing that happened was I started to notice, I kept on thinking my glasses were dirty. So I kept on cleaning both my sunglasses, but then I realized my other glasses were dirty too. And it got foggier and foggier. I would just, I couldn't understand what was going on. So I thought there was something wrong with our, my glasses, took them in to my regular eye doctor, and he said, no, there's nothing wrong with your glasses. Then he checked my eyes, he said, you are ready for cataract surgery. As a normal phenomenon, as we age, the crystalline lens does age, and it ages because the high, it's a, the highest protein content of any part of our body. And the majority of it is albumin, you know, the same as an egg white, and it, obviously at a much slower pace, over time, it does cloud over and yellow. And so, for all of us as we age, we will all develop cataracts at some point. The only way to restore vision to someone with cataracts is to remove the natural lens of the eye and replace it with an artificial lens implant. I worked in the medical field, so I know what can go wrong in surgery. So the first person that came to mind for my cataract surgery was Dr. Winthrop. I made an appointment and he reassured me that uh, having surgery with him was going to be very simple, very short. I would be out the next uh, within 20 minutes, 30 minutes of the surgery, and I would be able to see better with my right eye than I had ever seen before because I have a very strange prescription that he's been, I've been going to him for, for contacts for years and years, and he said they have a new lens called a toric lens that he would be able to put in my eye and I would be able to see better, and I couldn't believe it. I didn't believe him. <laughs> And so um, I did have the surgery and it was amazing. Today, there are many exciting lens options for cataract patients to improve their vision. These breakthroughs in lens implant technology include new toric lens implants to correct astigmatism and multifocal lens implants to help cataract patients enjoy a broader range of vision after surgery. Another tremendous breakthrough with the um, premium intraocular lenses is the multifocals and for the first time with the multifocals they actually give you both distance and reading so that's a tremendous breakthrough so for people who are really looking to be glasses free which in the older population we've really never been able to adequately provide we can actually give out of the same eye distance and reading cataract surgery has greatly improved my uh, vision uh, for flying uh, I no longer get blinded by the glare so much and I can see the instrument panel much better with the, with the digits uh, that are shown uh, on, on the screens of various instruments. And so that makes it much more uh, enjoyable and I can spend more time looking out the, the windows at the scenery and also for aircraft. I believe that my near vision is a little better than 2020 when I couldn't see anything, I mean, almost nothing. And my distance is 2020 and I couldn't read freeway signs with my glasses on before. Medicare in the past has been if they allowed a procedure, there was no avenue to quote upgrade that option. And so when the lens manufacturers came out with what we consider now to be premium intraocular lens, specifically the multifocals and the torque, which corrects astigmatism. So Medicare made a, a ruling that is held for all the insurance industry that, I mean, they still pay for cataract surgery, but they pay for what we call a standard monofocal implant. If you want a premium intraocular lens, you're now allowed to have it, although you do have to pay out of pocket for it. Just like recent advances in LASIK, modern day cataract care has experienced a similar progression during the past few years. 
Initially, cataract surgery was done where truly the whole lens was removed. And for many of us remember grandparents who will walk around with thick glasses and that was very difficult for them because the optical correction was not very good. Modern day cataract surgery, the way I do the surgery is under topical anesthesia. No shots, no needles. And so literally it's an anesthetic gel we put in the eye. And during the surgery, I'm actually talking and telling, you know, talking to you. But the procedure takes me roughly 10, 12 minutes. It absolutely doesn't hurt. There is no pain sensation that you feel. Typically what I tell patients is that it's actually a pretty light show. It's almost like being inside a kaleidoscope and each time it's a little bit different. And so sometimes when the patients are coming back for their second eye, they're kind of looking forward to it. And you're back to absolutely full activities. You can bend, lift everything normal next day and you can go play golf and et cetera. Having cataract surgery is like, is, was like a day off for me. Uh, you know, again, the procedure, uh, about, about 10 to 15 minutes and uh, uh, I went home, I took a nap afterwards, I went out to dinner, I went to a show. It was just a normal day for me. I was right back in business, so it was an easy, easy thing. Kind of a miracle took place on one day. I said, in fact, my left eye was done first. The very next morning, I'm on my way back to see Dr. Winthrop, and I picked up the paper and I went for my glasses, but I realized I actually could read the paper the very next day, with one eye, I went, I, I was just amazed. The next day, it was amazing. I could see leaves on the trees. And I hadn't been able to see that since I got my first pair of glasses when I was in high school. It was amazing. One of the things I discovered after having the surgery is that uh, the vision is back the way it was when I was maybe in high school because I started losing some of the vision uh, in the second year of college and I, I had to have glasses just in order to see what was written on the blackboard. So this has now improved my life a great deal by having, uh, having the 20-20 vision in both eyes. Dr. Winthrop's expertise as a corneal specialist makes him the surgeon of choice for cataract procedures. Throughout his career, he has helped set the standard in cataract care and technology. There was no question I was gonna to go to Stuart Winthrop for my cataract surgery. Uh, yeah, I felt very comfortable with it. It's always trickier after LASIK to do cataracts, and he just nailed my prescription. And again, I'm real pleased about that just because of my lifestyle. I was particularly impressed being a science teacher with all the most advanced equipment that uh, I've, I've never seen and uh, how technology has come along so far. Uh, it was very difficult for me to even conceive of what, how far we've come in the whole uh, science of vision. The staff over at the surgical department was so uh, accommodating uh, and uh, very reassuring and uh, I, I, I actually was not nervous at all about the whole work. And it went simply, there was no pain, got over it quickly. I expected that I would be able to see, but probably with glasses, I did not expect to have better than 20-20 vision with no glasses. I mean, this was, whoa, fabulous. Within about two, two days, um, I, I noticed that uh, the colors were much brighter, and I was just amazed that uh, the scenes on the TV and the letters and the characters were all much, much brighter, much more sharp than they had been before.